Let us sketch uh, these uh, quadratics. So the first question is y is equal to x times x minus 4. So when you are factor, uh, when you're graphing quadratics, there are three main points. One is the x-intercept. Uh, x-intercept are, uh, are the points where your graph cuts the x-axis. And there you can see your y is equal to 0. This is one thing that you need to remember. Your x-intercept is when? y is 0, then you have got the y-intercept. Uh, your y-intercept is where the graph cuts the y-axis. And there, your x has to be 0. These are the two important points. And the third most important point is the vertex or the turning point. OK, now for the vertex, uh, there, are, there is a formula to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. Uh, so vertex is halfway between the x-intercept. So you can say xv, I'll write xv means the x value of the vertex is, is always halfway, is halfway between the x-intercept. Halfway between x-intercept. So that's one thing, that's one way of doing it. There's also a formula uh, which uh, I'll not use you. You can use if you want. So let me scroll this to this side slightly. So this is the x-intercept. Okay. And the formula is xv is always minus b over 2a. Minus b over 2a. Now, where where do they get a, a and b? This is from the quadratic formula, general formula, where y is equal to ax squared. Uh, plus bx plus c. I'll show you both ways. Okay, so let's do the first question uh, using these facts. So you've got x-intercept when y is equal to 0. So let me change color. So when y is 0, so if you put 0 is equal to x times x minus 4. So here, this is a quadratic equation, so your x has to be 0, or x is equal to 4. So in other words, when x is 0, 0 times anything gives you 0. And if x is 4, this becomes 0. Okay, And 0 times anything gives you 0. So your x-intercepts are 0 and 4. Or your parabola will pass through 0 and 4 on the x-axis. The y-intercept is when, uh, when the x is equal to 0. So I'll say, well, y is equal to? 0 uh, times 0 minus 4. Okay, so this is nothing but 0 times negative 4. 0 times anything is 0 times anything is 0. So your y-intercept is also 0. In other words, it's passing through 0, 0 on uh, or the origin. <coughs> okay, now for the vertex, as I told you, it is halfway between the so we'll use both the formulas. <coughs> so your, <coughs> let me use a different color. So I'll write like this, xv, v stands for the vertex, is halfway between the x value. So it's 0 plus 4, 0 plus 4 divided by 2, which is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So your xv, or the x coordinate of the vertex is 2. <coughs> Okay, now if you use the formula, so using the formula, xv is minus b over 2a. Okay, now for that, I'll have to expand this. So let us expand, suppose if you expand this, if you expand this, uh, this will become y is equal to x squared uh, minus 4x uh, plus 0. Okay, so can you see your a is 1? A is 1, B is negative 4, and C is 0. Okay, so A is the coefficient of x squared, B is the coefficient of x, and C is the constant here. So your formula says your xv is minus B over 2A. If you take, if B is negative 4, and you take minus B, that will become 4 over 2. So let me use the form xv is minus B over 2a. So can we write this as negative 
of negative 4 over 2 times 1. That is same as 4 over 2, which is 2. So this is useful, but uh, if you know the x-intercepts, uh, it is, I think it is easier to do like this. Add the x-intercepts and divide it by 2, will, which, which will give you the x-coordinate of the vertex. So we now need to find the y-value of the vertex. So y, we know is x times x minus 4. So we know the x value of the vertex <coughs> is 2, so I'll put 2 in place of x, so that is 2 times 2 minus 4, which is 2 times negative, four, negative 2, which is negative 4. So your vertex, you can say, is uh, 2 comma negative 4. 2 comma negative 4. So these are the three po main points. We're only sketching it. So I'll show how to sketch this. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So this is your y and this is your x. Now this is a basic parabola. Okay. So let me scroll this to this side. So yeah, the vertex parabola. This is only a sketch. Okay, so let me scroll this to this side. So this is passing through 0 and 4. So this is 0. The x-intercept is 0 and 4. 0 and 4 is your x-intercept. The y-intercept is also 0. So it is passing through 0, 0 on the x-axis. And your vertex is, this is, this is 2. And this is negative 4, 2 comma negative 4. So this point is 2 comma negative 4. And the equation of this parabola is y is equal to <coughs> x times x minus 4, just like that. Okay, let us do one more. Okay, so this is y is equal to x times x plus 7. Okay, so yeah, your x-intercept first let's find the x-intercept. x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. So let us put y is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to x plus 1 times x plus 7. So when would this become 0? <coughs> because, <coughs> excuse me, if product of two numbers is 0, uh, one of them has to be 0. So you can also do like this. So when would x plus 1 be 0? And when would x plus 7 be 0? That's what you're going to ask because this, if this is 0, 0 times anything is 0. And if this is 0, anything times 0 gives you 0. So x has to be negative 1 or x is negative 7. So the x-intercepts are both negative, which are negative 1 and negative 7. Okay, your y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. The y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So let us put 0 in place of x. So y is equal to 0 plus 1 times 0 plus 7, which is 1 times 7. So your y-intercept is 7. Now, if you want to write the coordinate, so it's always good to write the coordinate. The coordinate of this is negative 1, comma 0. The x-intercept as a coordinate is, your y-value is 0. So this as a coordinate is negative 7, comma 0. And this as a coordinate, your y-intercept is 0, comma 7. It's always good to write in coordinates. So your y value is 0 here and your x value is 0. Now vertex as we saw is halfway between the x-intercept. So xv is halfway between the x-intercept, so which is negative 1 plus negative 7 divided by 2, which is negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. So x-intercept is negative 4. So to find the y-intercept, sorry, the y, this is the x-coordinate of the vertex, so I'll write yv, that's the y-coordinate of the vertex, is to put 
this value into back into the equation. <coughs> so the equation was x plus 1 times x plus 7. So in place of x I'm going to put minus 4. So negative 4. <coughs> Excuse me. So negative 1 plus negative 4 plus 1 times negative 4 plus 7. Okay. So this is equal to this is how much? This is negative 3 uh, and this is plus 3. Am I right? Yeah. Negative. This is minus 3 and this is plus 3 which is negative 9. So your vertex is negative is vertex is equal to uh, negative 4 comma negative 9. We'll check both the equation on a graphic calculator. So let us graph this. It's only a sketch. Okay, so so, so this is your y-axis, this is your x-axis. Okay, so both the intercepts are negative, so I'll draw a longer x-axis or a negative arm of the x-axis. So, so this is negative, what are the x-intercepts? negative 1 and negative 7. Okay, so yeah, let me draw like this. Okay, what's the y-intercept? Y-intercept is 7. It does make sense. Okay, so this is only a sketch, okay, as I told you. So the x-intercept, this is your negative 1. This is your negative 1 on the x-axis. And this is your negative, this is your negative 7. Your y-intercept is, is plus 7 here. And your vertex, this is negative 4. This is negative 4. And this is negative 9. So this point is negative 4, comma, negative 9. So this is a sketch of this parabola. y is equal to x plus 1, x plus 1 times x plus 7. So let's check that. The, this on a calculator. So get your graphic calculators out. So let me scroll this to this side so that you can see. Okay, and go to your graph menu and type in bracket x plus 1 times x plus 7. Okay, so and draw it. Uh, this needs a bigger scale, so I'll go from Make it a standard scale of negative 10 to 10 on both the axes. And can you see this is your? So we need to confirm the y-intercept. So press F5, which is G sol, and press F4. So can you see your y-intercept is 0, 7? Okay, that's what I'm saying. You need to write the code, you need to know the coordinate. So again, G sol and x-intercept on the calculator you can get by pressing F1, which is under root. So press so 1 is negative 7, and you press this key, which is negative 1. And again, go G sol. This is the minimum, so press minimum, which is negative 4, negative 9. So let me show you this also on a calculator. So let me get the calculator. So again, you can delete this first and type in x bracket x minus 4. Okay. Here is your graph. So these, these are the x-intercepts. So G sol, the x-intercept, 0, 0, and uh, 0, 4, or 4, 0. And G sol, y-intercept is 0, 0. And G sol, minimum, which is 2, negative 4.